Hello kindergartners. Today we are going to be working on lesson 9-3. It's on page 525. And today we're going to be practicing counting and writing 16 and 17. So Jada has collected has a collection of piggy banks. How can Carlos show the number of piggy banks Jada has? Let's use counters and then we'll draw them. So we're going to do exactly what we did before and I'm going to use a counter and then cross it off as I'm counting. So there's one counter, cross it off. One counter, cross it off. One counter, and I'm gonna do that for all of them. All right, so we fill the 10 frame. So if I fill a 10 frame, how many counters are there? 10. If a 10 frame is filled, there are 10 counters. Now we still have some extra. Let's see how many extra we have. I'm actually going to flip these over so it's easier to see. Okay, so we have 10 here and then we have some extra. Let's count our counters to see. We, remember, there's how many in this? 10. We don't have to count that. We know that there are 10 counters in a filled 10 frame. So we can start at 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. How many counters are there? 16. So now let's draw that on our, on our um, mat here. I'm gonna push that out of the way and I'm gonna draw 10 counters because our 10 frame was filled. So our 10 frames filled and then there were six more counters. So now it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 counters. Today, boys and girls, we're going to be practicing counting and writing 16 and 17. All right, when we have this many uh, um, things to count, make sure that you are crossing it off as you are counting them. Okay, let's count and write them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There are 16. That is a 1 and a 6. 1 and a 6. Remember in T numbers, the 1 always comes first. All right, let's do number 2. If you need to pause the video, you can always pause it. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen is a one and a seven. One and a seven. When you are done with that, come on over to this page. We're going to count and write our numbers. Let's start with number three. Let's cross it off as we count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. How do you make a sixteen? A one and a six. Space, one and six. Remember in T numbers, the one always comes first. Let's try number four. Let's cross it off as we count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. How do I make a seventeen? A one and a seven. One and seven. The one always comes first. Finger space, one and seven. If you need to pause the video, pause the video to do number four. We're gonna go on to number five. 
Let's count, let's cross them off and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, how do I make a 16? One comes first, then a six. Finger space, one and six. All right, let's try number six. Cross them off and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. What, how do you make a 17? One comes first, then a seven. Finger space, one and seven. Let's try the last one on this page. Let's count and write them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. How do I make a 16? A one and a six. Space, one and six. All right, when you finish this page, turn it to the next one. Play the video so you know what to do. Eight, nine, and 10. Um, you will count that how many there are and then write the number. Count, write the number. Count, write the number. For number 11, I want you to draw 17 balls and then practice writing the number that tells how many. So draw 17 balls, then write the number. This is the only page that you need to post onto Seesaw, and I will see your work there.